Hello everyone. If you remember on the last video, we saw how to use one of the tools on Markers Plus version 4 to create signals when we have a trend change. We compare the close versus the open. And this is the difference between the close and the open of each bar. And when we have a trend change, when the close is over the open, then we have a trend change. Um, now we can add a filter on a higher time frame using exact the same. This is the exact same configuration, but as you can see, this is a higher time frame. This is the whole day. On the whole day, we have a lot of signals. But on the higher time frame, instead of using the signals, we are only interested in this histogram. this example we use the exact same configuration that on the previous chart but with different variables um, let, let's review uh, how are the variables on the main chart first we copy the open to the variable my open then we copy the close to the variable my close and then we calculate the difference between my close and my open and put that into my trend this histogram that is not used on this chart is my my trend we on this chart we are only using the signals Okay, on, on the higher time frame chart, we do the same. We copy the open of the bars into my open number two. We copy the close into my close number two. And we also calculate the difference and the crossover of my close number two versus my open number two and the result this histogram is placed on my trend number two something important is having this calculation on at bar close the calculate on bar close set to true is on the crossover indicator on both time frames All other indicators are intrabar. And now we can filter these signals on markers. We have markers set to trade uh, long green arrows for longs. Sorry, we have the configuration to trade longs on green arrows and shorts on red arrows but filtering if we go to the filter settings we filter longs when my trend number two my trend number two is from the higher time frame not not the current so we want it with a minimum of zero so it has to be it has to be positive to go long and my trend number two must have a maximum of zero, so it has to be negative to take a short. When when we put that into markers and when we receive a, an incoming tick from the market, let's go back to 6 a.m. <clears throat> oh, 
Currently, Markers is avoiding longs because the higher time frame is set to trade shorts only. So the following long signal is ignored. Unless it changes to th this long signal was ignored. Order filled. This short signal instead was taken because the higher time frame is on short mode. Another long signal ignored because it is still avoiding longs. That one was a loser. Order filled. Now it is taking only longs, so it is avoiding shorts. So what we what we can see here is that using the same uh, configuration on two different time frames, target filled. We can use the signals. Uh, we can use the histogram to filter trades Order filled. and the signals to Target. enter trades. This long was ignored, but the short was taken. This long was ignored. Or Target filled. The short was Order. ignored and long Target was taken. Filled. Order. Order filled. Something also that we can do. Order cancelled. Is if we don't like having so many indicators here. Uh, as I as I said, on the signal we don't need the histogram. So we can hide it. We can make the difference equal to transparent and also use the same panel. So it is not visible, on only the signal arrows. Also the auxiliar lines can be placed on an auxiliar chart or can also be hidden. So now we don't have any anything uh, occupying space on the on the chart. Only signals. And uh, another example, if we let's create a new chart. using the same time frame as the trading chart we can put all the auxiliar all, all the auxiliar indicators here for example the this will be my close 3 and 
I open three. Here we put the open. I will use a different color. This way, I don't need this indicator on this chart. I will remove all the indicator here. I only interested in the signals. So while I have the lines copied, currently I have my closed number three and my open number three. Then on my trading chart, I can check the crossovers of those lines between my close number three and my open number three. And that will, that will be my, the difference will be my trend number three. Again, I don't need the histogram, so I will make it transparent. And using the same panel. Now I have my trading chart with the trend change signals using only one indicator because I am using an auxiliary chart to copy the lines. And another um, possible option, uh, as we can see here, we have several noise filters, noise signals. If we are not going to use the higher time frame filter, we can still filter these signals by using an average on the auxiliary chart. Instead of looking at the open and the close of the current bar, we can look at the average of, of the last certain number of bars, for example, two or three. Let's make an example. This is my close number three. Instead of looking at the close, as it is now, I will look at the simple moving average of the last uh, four bars of the close. It is the default. And then I will look at the simple moving average of the open. Also uh, three bars, no four bars, of the open. And let's see what happens if we refresh this chart. Now we have less noisy signals, but we have a delay. Instead of having a signal on the first bar, uh, we have at least three bars delay because we are using a simple moving average of four. So we have a delay of three bars. We can make the average smaller instead of using four. Uh, let's use. Uh, I have to type everything again. Let's use only three. Click 
here. Also, three part of the open. Now, if we refresh, we have a little more signals, but with less delay, only only two bars. Okay, you have you you can choose whatever you like. You can use a second time frame filter or filter the signals on your current time frame. Okay, hope hope this has been useful. If you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.